Hello dudes, this is Steve and this is uh, another straight six video. Um, what this is about basically is uh, just taking the, the whole sort of straight six system to a um, ridiculous um, sort of lightweight uh, level really I suppose um, this is not not recommended unless you know what you're doing I certainly wouldn't take this as the only thing if I was going high up in the mountains even for a day but this is just I suppose it's just an idea really to sort of give you an idea of how flexible it is and, and how to incorporate it so you've got um, OMM um, original mountain marathon um, bum bag here six litre one uh, we've got a 500 mil bottle on the outside now that's not your main water carry uh, but that's just a sort of thing to keep it so that it's, it's easy to get at basically uh, padded back and it's got straps around there um, opening it up you've got a little whistle uh, on there so that's an extra thing that you don't have to carry not that that would weigh much uh, you've got two litre platypus hoses there's lots of room inside there for that to expand um, in terms of your insulating layer you haven't actually got a t-shirt I mean, anything other than a t-shirt really you've just got your uh, so this would only be very very sort of good fair weather stuff uh, you've got an old non uh, recyclable version of the uh, emergency blanket there you've got a uh, uh, hooded rain poncho there which you can see which sort of opens out into a large sort of six and a half to seven foot by uh, four and a half foot uh, thing there so you've got another sheet of plastic that weighs about 45 grams that weighs about 50 ish there about so less than 100 grams you've got your insulating layer and your poncho there from the straight six thing uh, you've got your water carrier there as well obviously because you're not able to to, to sort of just have 500 litres 500 millilitres of water is not enough for a day um, what we've got here as well is uh, MSR Titan, as you can see that's been blasted on the campfire quite quite a lot of times, um, fairly old one but really really nice, nice piece of kit. Uh, take the lid off and inside we've got mobile phone, we've got the uh, first aid kit, that's going to have things like uh, little compied blister plaster, plasters, it'll have your um, all sorts of bits and bobs like that in there uh, as, as well, sort of first aid items. Um, also bits of tinder you can keep in there as well, we've got a Vargo Decagon stove just in case we can't get hold of um, any uh, any t any fire fire lighting stuff, and also we've got a little bottle. I mean that's got uh, pine tar in it at the moment, but uh, as you can see, nasty stuff. But so that we can't use that in that stove, obviously. But this is just just for sort of purposes of show. We'd have a little bottle, maybe sort of 100 mil or so like that, which uh, you carry sort of denatured alcohol or meths or something in as well, uh, which would do the for the stove, and obviously that would sort of just sit on there like that. Uh, no need for a wind uh, for a, um, a windshield or anything. You just like, put put a bit of soil up around the outside of it, things to make sure it's okay. So, uh, yeah, two litre platypus uh, sort of thing there. Just fill fill that up, uh, fill that up. Uh, and uh, what else have we got in here? Oh yeah, there's a little pocket, just a belt pocket on the side here. And uh, in there we've got the key ring, which was in one of the previous videos. Uh, so you've got uh, the A axe component there with the Victorinox Farmer Swiss Army knife. Uh, uh, which is obviously cut, cut up wood, you've got some cordage there, compass, you wouldn't need that whistle because you've got the one that's already on the outside of the of the bag and the BCB Ranger fire steel. So that's uh, S for the steel container, or in this case titanium, uh, which is uh, there. You've got T for tarp, which we've got here, the 50 gram or 40 odd gram sort of poncho. Uh, we've got um, uh, T for tarp, R for rope, uh, A for axe, uh, the cutting tool, and uh, we've also got uh, <laughs> S-T-R-A-I for insulation, which is this uh, this layer here, sorry I forgot where it was there, um, and uh, finally T for tinderbox being the BCB Ranger fire steel. I mean obviously the I, I weighed all this and the, 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 the upshot of it is that that's about 850 grams for a whole kit that you could potentially spend the night out with and uh, and obviously have enough water and things like that. That's a dry weight without food or water. But, um, thanks very much for watching, cheers, bye.